So y'all, tomorrow I will be 35 weeks and I'll be officially packing my pregnancy bag, okay? Unfortunately, I had a C-section in 2020 when I lost my son, so I was not approved for a VBAC, vaginal birth after cesarean. They are giving me a repeated C-section um, before uh, 40 weeks, so it is very soon. Um, so let's get into it. So this is my hospital bag that I ordered off Amazon like in August. I like it because it has the shoe compartment, an extra shoe bag, you got a side bottle, inner pockets, zipper pockets, and it's very roomy. And I got it for like $20, it was on sale. It come in different colors, a link in the bio if you're interested. Um, I do have these divider bags, it's only like $16.99 because I'm gonna have a C-section so I'm gonna be using my nurses. Like I'm gonna be like, can you go into my bag and grab my toiletries for me? Because I'm telling you, when they take that catheter out after your C-section, you can take your first bath. You're going to need assistance and you're going to need help bending. You ain't going to be able to do everything yourself. So if you have everything organized in your bag, it's really going to help. I also have a picture outfit for me, the dad, and the baby. I went to Walmart and got a hygiene travel kit where I could put my favorite lotion, my favorite body wash, and etc. I went to CVS and got a... Uh, a little convenient kit but I kind of like mix and match my own stuff like my own small deodorant my own small toothbrush toothpaste mouthwash don't need no razor comb brush anything you may need you put it in that you get the little hygiene kit for it, or you can make your own this last time I had a c-section is like wonderful they're like underwear but they're pads I just put the large hospital pad inside that and you know when you have a c-section it's just like you know that's just amazing because you're bleeding you don't even want to know so i got the hospital bag the dividers i'm gonna have a charger and an extension cord because i don't have a long charger cord i don't feel like buying one my computer for netflix i need my own towel from home my own face rag and my own um face towel always been like that my toiletries my going home outfit i'm not going to have no outfits while i'm there because again i'm having a c-section so i'm gonna be wearing their gown prior to my c-section after my c-section and then when they take the catheter out i'm still gonna be wearing their gown until it's time for me to leave and then i'm going to change into my going home outfit i'm going to bring my own footies and slippers i'm bringing some cheap little flip-flops from dollar tree for the shower um, some underwear for after birth, especially like when I'm able to dress and walk around. You're only going to be there for three days. So the day you're leaving, um, your, your own personal pads to leave with if you don't want their blocky ones. But when they're there, use their thick ones. Okay. My C-section compression band, the baby going at home outfit in that photo outfit. What I'm not going to bring is a breast pump, diapers and wipes, because every time the shift change, I'm going to be asking for new diapers and wipes and putting them in my bag because my insurance had to pay 8000 last time for my C-section, so I know it's expensive and I'm getting my money's worth. Mind your business. I'm not going to bring no uh, clothes for the baby while he's there unless until he's go home because they give him an outfit and he's going to be getting taken out for things like getting his little wee-wee snipped on and all that stuff so they can use their clothes for that. I'm not bringing no pregnancy pillow. I'm going to be aggravated and get the punching on it. No snacks and food because I'm indecisive and I'll bring something and not even want it. And no perfume because last time I had some perfume and I was spraying it trying to feel good and my nurse was allergic to it so she couldn't even come in. I had to get another lady. No, we're not doing that today. Just cocoa butter, baby powder, and baby lotion. What I'm going to ask for after my C-section is two to three laxatives a day. Okay, they long, thick pads. I don't do no pain medicine because when you go home, you don't have no pain medicine like that. It's not, it ain't as strong as the hospitals. So I just have to, you know, stick it through. And I'm going to need my baby daddy assistance to bathe me when I'm able to bathe for the first time because it's hard to wipe. And you see the shift change. More diapers and wipes, please. So that's it for my hospital bag. When I get everything in the mail, I'm going to make a video packing it. <laughs>